Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the 30th Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is how can we get the image uh, or our sprite to face in the direction that we're actually moving. So the main issue that we're having right now with our game is that when we run it, uh, we get our snake head. It looks good, but as soon as we need to turn and stuff, it just it's not working out, right? Um, that's a little unacceptable. Looks great when we're going up, but otherwise it's not no good. So what can we do to remedy this? So luckily for us, built into Pygame, there's actually a rotate uh, functionality for images and stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing uh, now. And then the only thing that we have to add here is like logic that we can pump in our logic in, into this rotation feature and actually get the image facing the correct direction. So. To start, um, first of all, I want to go ahead and um, change a couple things. So we've got to go back to, right. So first thing I want to change is we're going to go ahead and change lead x change. We're going to change that to uh, 10, actually, or 20. We'll do 10 for now, so it's just kind of slow at first. Um, and why are we doing this? Well, in order to say like what direction we're going, we're going to go ahead and specify a starting direction. I suppose we could just say none, but then our image, I, I just don't want to do that. So, and plus we already know that when we start snake, we wanted to have the snake moving anyway. So we knew this change was coming. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it now. And we're going to say lead to X change equals 10. And what this is going to do now is like whenever we start the game, the snake is already moving. Okay. Simple enough. So, uh, with that, we are going to go back up to the top now, and under FPS, we're going to say uh, direction, and we're going to say direction equals, and then we're just going to call this right, because that's the direction our snake is moving initially. So direction equals uh, right. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to say, um, so we already have image, right? And the problem is like we could take image and we could redefine image or we could yeah basically redefine image in this snake function but the problem is the snake function is drawn every frame that we have per second and so if we were doing that we'd be loading this image every single time and that's very sloppy so what we want to do is we want to load the image once and then we'll make modifications and since we're going to keep rotating the image we want to always start at you know true north, so to speak. So what we do is in our snake function, for example, we will say something like if direction equals right. So if the direction is right, what do we want to do? Well, if direction is right, we basically uh, we want the snake head to be rotated over. And the way the rotating is going to work is it's actually going to go almost like counterclockwise, so to speak. So instead of making the head go from here to here, we have to make the head go from here. I can't even do it. From here to like here. <laughs> right. uh, that's what we need to do. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to say head. So if direction equals right, if that's true, then head equals pi game dot transform dot rotate. And then what do we want to rotate? Well, we want to rotate IMG for uh, the image, right, of our snake head. And then how much, how many degrees do we want to rotate it? Well, we want to rotate that motion from here to here is uh, 270 degrees, so 270. Um, and in fact, actually for you guys, it would be from here to here, right? So that's 270. So that will get the snake, um, the snake's head pointing right. So. We can test this really quick by doing a quick save and run, and that didn't work. Hold on. Uh, game just okay. Well, the reason why that didn't work is we need to replace image with head because now we're actually we're blitting the head. And the reason why we want to do this is if we might if we are rotating the image, like if we say image equals image, and then we rotate the image, we would have. We'd always be rotating the image, and we wouldn't really necessarily know where where the image was currently facing. We'd have to build in some logic to know what the previous facing direction was. It would be horrible. So we replace it with head now, and now it's facing the correct direction. It's not going to continue facing the correct direction because uh, we don't have any other rules. 
So if direction equals right, we do that. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is let's just copy and paste this. So I'm copy this and paste, paste, and paste. So we've got right, left, up, and down. Now to do left, we already knew that to make all that whole transition from, from true north or up, to right was 270, so what's 270 minus uh, a 180, basically, and that's 90. So we know right and left, and then uh, if the image is up, well, we don't need to make any change, so we're just gonna say head equals image, done. And then if the image is down, what do we need to do? Well, we need to wrote about face, basically, so we wanna do a 180, done. So now we've got the directions handled, and then now the only problem is we don't actually have anything to change direction, right? We can change our, our direction with the arrow keys, but the arrow keys are not changing this, this variable right here. So we have to change that variable. So to do that, we're going to come down to game loop. And in game loop, we're going to global direction. And what this does is turns it into a global variable. Because right now we can reference uh, image, or not image, I'm sorry, we can, well we can do that too, but we can reference uh, direction, but we cannot modify direction. So, um, let's go back down here, so we, we, basically it's being treated like a constant variable. So we come down here and we global direction, that, that, that's going to allow us in this game loop function to modify it, and then we come down to where we enter our keys, which is right here, so key left, key right, up, down, right, so all we need to do now is direction equals left. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this and we'll go paste, paste, paste. This is right. This is up and this is down. So let's go ahead and save and run that. And now you see our uh, snake head is facing the correct direction. So now we'll go ahead and get um, some pieces here. Cool. And anyway, we see that now our snake head is uh, facing in the correct direction. Everybody's winning. So that's great. So already, that's a small change, but it actually helps quite a bit uh, to make the game look a little more, uh, I hate to say realistic, um, but I don't know, a little more game-like and less, I don't know, silly computer game like or something. I don't know the right word for it, but I suppose realistic is as good as it gets. So anyway, that's going to conclude this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching.